on to my uh, Capricorn. So you have the Knight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and then you have the Ten of Cups. You have the Page of uh, Wands, the Moon, the Nine of Pentacles, the Fool, and last but not least, you have the Ten of Wands. So what I'm seeing here for you uh, Capricorns, I'm seeing how a lot of you Capricorns, first and foremost, um, it seems to me as if you had somebody that was like a, a, a person that wanted to get to know you, but you didn't really want to get to know them too, too much due to the fact that they was essentially, you know, you found out something about them that you realized that you couldn't necessarily really get to know them for a very long period of time. So the five of pentacles and the six of wands represents. So you had to essentially leave them alone because of it. The six of wands is that you're actually glad that you're not talking to them anymore. The four of pentacles and the 10 of cups now represent. So as a result, what you have to also take into consideration, sorry about that. What you also have to take into consideration is what it is that you want to do too. Um, you realize that obviously you have way more self-respect than you even thought you did. Because sometimes you can honestly um, surprise yourself at how much self-respect that you have, right? And just with anybody, but I'm talking to you Capricorns. So you, you won't know what it is that you're really capable of until you're in this situation. You understand? Or I should say, at least you're, till you're in the situation a couple of times for you to have some sort of idea that you're very good or what you're capable of. And a lot of you Capricorns may have grown up where secretly you may have devalued yourselves. But now that a lot of you Capricorns are growing up and you're realizing just how important Capricorn can be, right? Especially when they get themselves to a certain level in society, right? And just in general sense, um, a lot of you Capricorns understand that you're not going to allow people to disrespect you. The Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups represents, again, you're able to maintain your level of decency. You're able to maintain your level of... Uh, I don't even know. Your, your level of... Uh, how, how do I say this? Your level of decency, maintaining that, keeping that, you know, not allowing anyone to treat you like trash. That's what's up. Don't allow people to treat you like trash because people shouldn't be treating you like that in the first place. And then you have the page of wands and the moon. The page of wands and the moon represents you being in a situation with, with these people where you leaving anyone that acts like like this in this particular reading, anyone that treats you like trash, anyone that, that shows you that they have some serious emotional situations that they have to learn to get over, a lot of you Capricorns are like, nah, that's a dub. Because you Capricorns have your own situation that you got to get over, right? You got to get over your past because Capricorn... Capricorn is the zodiac sign of memory. Ah, how many people knew that? But Capricorns represent memory. And, you know, Capricorn is a zodiac sign that, you know, y'all can dwell on the memories, the past, what, what happened, why certain things didn't play out the way that you wanted it to, or why certain things didn't play out the way that it should have. Listen, and a lot of you Capricorns, Right now, you understand that you have that problem and y'all are understanding that y'all got to learn to get over that. So you know what is it you Capricorns are doing? You Capricorns are actually doing the work. Shout outs to y'all, but y'all can't do the work and at the same time deal with this stupid <laughs> individual that wants to, that doesn't want to change, that wants to hold up the progress between you and them, especially if you're hanging around them. They trying to slow the progress up that you making you running ahead they trying to slow you down by grabbing onto your jacket and your clothes and all this stuff and you know so to speak so the page of wands in the moon you gotta learn you gotta let anybody that's dysfunctional like this go and you have you're already moved on the moon 
you're over, you've already not only have you ghosted them, but you're already doing, you're continuing to do the internal and external work. You are. You're not allowing people to treat you like trash. If they're disrespecting you, then it, then you're just going to go about and leave. The Nine of Pentacles, the Sun, and then you have the Ten of Wands. This is about how since this is this is the case, this is also about the 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 Nine of Pentacles is about also not allowing anyone not allowing. Look, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just tell it like it is. You Capricorns have to learn to become better when it comes to giving particular people your attention. Attention is like is better than currency. It's not like it's not like currency. It's better than currency. And when you learn to get your attention, see, this is what I'm trying to say. People can run game on you and make you feel a certain kind of way and make you feel bad when you're really paying attention to them. But what happens when you shift your attention now towards healing, towards concentrating on yourself? You understand what I'm saying? They don't have any more power over you anymore, which they never did. But the point is, is that they have even less power than even what they originally thought that they had. The fool and the ten of wands, right? The fool and the ten of wands, I'm being smooth with it. The fool and the ten of wands, this is about the fool represents the type of mentality that you should have. Shrug it off mentality. Who cares? You know, and furthermore, who cares about people coming to you in this manner? The ten of wands, you moving forward now to someone else. So I'm just seeing that you Capricorns are just taking a, 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 a brief reset, a recess where you were speaking to somebody fairly recently or recently. It probably only lasted a couple of days. You you're talking to each other, texting, all of that. And then you find out that this person is dis dysfunctional somehow, some way in particular. You ended up leaving, right? Your self-respect was not going to be compromised. Good for y'all. And now y'all have to develop this new mentality. You have to become the fool. And, and in the future, I'll do a video on exactly what the fool is. Because it's very spiritual. The fool is a very the fool is the most powerful tarot card in the entire deck. A lot of people don't really know that. A lot of people don't want to be the fool. I do. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is not an insult for you to call me a fool. It, it is most definitely a compliment, and I'll explain why. But the Ten of Wands represents... Um, I, yeah, the Ten of Wands represents making that move from this what was old to now what is new. So if you're finding value within this reading, then it means it's time for you to come get a personal reading from me. There's a link in the comment section called the link tree. Click on it. It'll redirect you to a website which has all the ways you can financially support me from the books that I have that are on Amazon, right? Check those out. Also, too, leave a couple of ratings if you could. You know, if when you read it, you know, you know, give it, you know, a, a little review. Really appreciate it. Or a big review. Appreciate it if you could. My Instagram page. Follow me on there. Appreciate. Shout outs to all the people who have. Um, my clothing store right uh you know uh really appreciate the people who uh who would buy it who don't who don't it is what it is you still support me um and for my private tarot readings it'll say private tarot readings click on it it'll redirect you to a website okay it has the time what you're getting ex an explanation or a description of what it is that you're getting and how much it is that i'm charging it'll have a buy now button which is clickable take you directly to paypal or it has my cash app cash tag above it and if you need any kind of help then you can always feel free to contact me at kareem yahoo.com thanks so let's clarify the fool matter of fact let's clarify the moon let's clarify the moon You have the Six of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Emperor, the Queen of Swords. 
Y'all already know what that means, right? Y'all got the six of cups. Y'all already know what that means. Okay, so the six of the six of swords, the six of cups. Oh yeah, this person when you dip, when you flake out, when you ghost them, they, they're gonna come back. Now they really want you. The emperor, the queen of uh, swords, but you Capricorns, y'all don't want them because you found out something about them. Maybe they were cheating. Maybe they told you that they were better than you or they acted like they were better than you. And you Capricorns decided, y'all was like, okay, cool. You better than me. Oh, okay. Regardless of whatever the situation, you ended up flipping the script because you weren't so emotionally invested with your ego and you ended up leaving it. And what did you do? You end up flipping the script on them now. Because now, right, Six of Cups, there's the evidence. The shoe is on the other foot. Now they want your attention. And now you Capricorns are not going to give them your attention because they had their opportunity and they squandered it. Let's clear. Let's clarify the Ten of Wands. Let's clarify the Ten of Wands. You have the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Justice, and the Hermit. Right. So the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, like these people could be calling you, texting you, trying to come over, whatever, if they know where you are. You don't care. You, you've shifted your attention to continuing on living your life, getting to know other people that are better suited for you, could I should say could potentially be better suited for you, you know, when you're getting, as you're getting to know them. And you're not going to go back. You're not worrying about what they've got going on. The justice and the hermit now, right, is about how they wanted to play all these games, the hermit, right? And the justice, they got what it is that they worked so hard for. If you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. So I don't understand what exactly they were trying to accomplish, but obviously it really didn't work. And, and not only that, but it backfired. <laughs> That's pretty much it, y'all. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of June. We have 6,700 subscribers right now. 6,725 6, subscribers. Y'all are amazing. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, and set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos. Peace.